What's up guys, Chris Tips One. How's everyone doing? Today we're just gonna vibe, we're just gonna vibe today. I got some news, some you know, updates and stuff like that, life and in general. And uh, yeah, we're gonna chat it up tonight. So, mm. how's everyone doing? Is everyone okay? Head on their shoulders, you know, mentally. How are things mentally? Um, fuck, it's been a roller coaster, dude. I know right now I'm just taking it day by day. But um, some interesting things happened last week. This has like been a lifelong dream to me, dude. Because I'd watch documentary after documentary after documentary of all the Apollo launches, the space shuttle launches. And for the first time in my life, I actually saw a space launch. And uh, it was SpaceX, it was Falcon 9. And we watched, it was like an 11 o'clock freaking liftoff. So it was dark. Unfortunately, it was a lot of clouds, but it looked dope. It's pitch dark. The freaking uh, Falcon 9 goes up and it lights up everything. I actually took a clip of the whole lift off and um, it's crazy after pff, things going up for like a minute and then it wasn't until when it was peak highs when you start hearing the rumble. But I filmed it on my iPhone. I'm going to play that clip at the end of this video. If you don't want to hear me ramble, just skip to the end. <laughs> as far as the business side of things, American Nation, thank you all who have purchased um, a t-shirt. Right now I am rocking the Vibe On shirt. This is a little retro skate shirt. I love it. it looks old school, vintage, and this is kind of the era that I grew up in. And American Nation now is running uh, RNTV stuff. Kenny. You guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys know who Kenny is. But uh, if you go to American Nation under partners, you'll see my name on there and you'll see his name. And we designed a bunch of shirts for him. And I actually just designed one for him yesterday. And we're just waiting to get a, a approval from him that, uh, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's tough. You know, the economy in Biden's economy, it's just horrible, dude. Um, inflation, dude, let's, let's talk politics. Let's talk politics. I am very disappointed in DeSantis. It's like, dude, what the f are you doing? You're not gonna be Trump, dude. You're not. He's going to these small towns, you know, Iowa, Idaho, whatever, and he's campaigning and holding rallies with like 10 people. You're not gonna stop Trump, you're not. Why are you wasting your time? It makes sense that people want him to run, right? Anyone but Trump. But Ron DeSantis, dude, with inflation, how does Florida have the highest inflation percentage right now? Like what is going on? And this dude's out here with his freaking five inch cowboy boots, making himself look taller, doing rallies in front of like 10 people. It's, it's, you're wasting your time. We need you down here. Rent is up the freaking roof right now. Everything is just, it's a shit show. Vivek, I like. That guy's spitting facts. But Robert Kennedy Jr., dude. Oh, whew. I've been hearing, you know, he was on Rogan. I've been hearing him in a lot of podcasts. And this dude is smart. And you know what the Dems are doing? They're silencing the hell out of him. Everything they're doing that they did with Trump, they're doing it to him. They're pulling his videos out of YouTube. I'm like, Gee. ideally for me, I would love to see a Trump, Robert Kennedy Jr. as VP. I would, that right there would be my dream team. Obviously that's not gonna happen, but I think Robert Kennedy Jr. shot himself in the foot by running as a Democrat. I don't see the Democratic Party pushing Biden for 2024. A guy can barely speak a sentence. A sentence, dude. Like what the, and everything that's happening with the, with, with the Bidens, the missing baggie, the laptop, the money laundering. You know, I think a lot of this is gonna come to light. And I do feel some shift happening. You can't hide it, dude. You cannot hide the fact that the commander in chief is a <laughs> Probably shouldn't say that, R word. But it's, 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 I feel like I'm taking crazy pills, you know what I mean? Like, I think the whole world, I think, I know the whole world is laughing at us right now. Pushing these woke ideologies, we're pushing this whole trans thing, and people can't even put food on their fucking table. It's sad. It's sad. No one's talking about the economy right now. No one's talking about the banks going under, you know? I think they're trying to push this climate change and the digital dollar and everything digital and, scary out there, but I really do like Robert Kennedy Jr. But I'm worried for his safety. I'm worried for Trump's safety too. But you know, it's, it's I never really talk politics here, guys. 
American nation embraces this stuff. You know what I mean? So as far as the business thing, I think I'm going to be a lot more vocal and I'm going to call bullshitters out and I'm going to start talking more politics on here. <laughs> but yeah, working from home, it's pretty freaking cool, man. I, I ain't gonna lie. Well, I don't, I, I'm mostly at Jesse's place. My spare bedroom is being used as the shipping. Actually, let me go show you. There it is. <laughs> if you guys noticed, these are old cubicle flags. Of course, homesick album cover art. Nice American flag. I didn't remember a song. Got a poster up here. You can't really see the reflection, but, uh, but yeah, some of the old boards that I've had over the years. Also got, of course, Grizzly. Some cool boards here. This is, man, this is my old setup, my old rooms. This board signed by the whole band, Parkway Drive. Signatures are kind of fading out, but nah, you can still see them. That's at least 10 years old. You've got a revived Zelda board and then a Death Wish. I buy boards based on the artwork, man. And I just phew, love that artwork. But uh, yeah, <laughs> this is the shipping room. We print as soon as the orders come in, but we do print extras or overstock, so our high sellers we can ship right away. But yeah, this is a little setup here. I handle all the shipping in my spare bedroom, and Jesse, in his spare bedroom, does all the printing. So, yeah, not bad. We are literally a small business, and I'm just grateful that we can do it from our spare bedrooms. Now, I haven't been posting about this, but I have been going live on Twitch. Um, I was live the past few days, I've been going on at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time, and I think I wanna do Monday through Friday, 10 p.m. So I don't have to post every time when I'm gonna be on. <laughs> I am gonna be on tonight. If you're watching this today, I'll be on in a few hours or in an hour. Come stop by, say hi. Um, the past few live sessions have been pretty cool because you know we're asking questions, we're shooting the shit, and that series, oh, the series I'm doing is Call of Duty Infinite War for a campaign, right? The last full campaign I did was World War II. But this one's Infinite Warfare. It's an older Call of Duty game, but I haven't played it in so long. But I've just been going on and um, chatting with a few of the guys that, that, that pop in there. And we're having a great time. So if you guys have any questions regarding life, business, personal dip, anything like that, show up, drop a question, and I'm going to play the game. Um, part one and part two is up on my Twitch. I'll put the Twitch stuff down below, but I'm going to do part three today. So I hope to see a few of you guys on there tonight. Stop by, pack a lip with me, say hi. Yesterday, I did a review on Outlaw's new flavor of the month, the energy drink. If uh, It's not uploaded on this channel. It's uploaded on the Outlaw Dipco channel. So I'll also put the link to, to that video down below if you guys want to check it out. Other than that, guys, thank you for your continued support. And one of the guys that was, that was on my live stream yesterday was literally watching me since day one, since I brought out Red. And he was bringing up stuff, asking questions that I haven't thought about in years, dude. It's been crazy. But uh, it's been fun. It's been fun. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try this Twitch thing for a while, okay? Um, I think there I can just be, you know, transparent. It's live. I'm not bullshitting. And, and I can answer most questions that I probably can't answer here. At least that's what I assume. But if anyone out there, I need help. If anyone out there knows the ins and outs of Twitch, the, what to do, what not to do, please DM me. I would love to pick your brain and hopefully you can help me out and give me some tips. Because I'm late to the Twitch game and everything is foobar. Everything is... <laughs> There's like badges and stickers and I'm just like, oh, what the fuck? What? This is too much. There's too much going on. <laughs> so I just need some help. But other than that, guys, I'm going to end the video with the launch clip, and I'll catch you, hopefully, a few of you guys tonight. And you guys all know this. If you ain't dipping, you ain't living. All right, boys, we're going to see it. Let's go for launch. There it is. Holy crap.
the camera is catching it as like a circle but you can clearly see the the freaking oh you can't see it on a camera oh yeah you can a little bit 